Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. Well, today starts our seven-day challenge. Now, this is new to many of you, but this is a challenge that I put forth for seven days to do as Jesus did, walk as Jesus walked, act as Jesus acted. Now, the early disciples were accused of being with a man called Jesus. After he had died, resurrected, they were being tried for their faith, they were being challenged for their belief, and because of how they stood and what they were about, the leadership said, these men resemble the man Jesus. They act like they have been with Jesus. Let me ask you about seven days from now, can you simply say, I have lived my life the last seven days as if I had been with Jesus? You know, when we are challenged to do this, we have to take into consideration everything the way we act, you know, how we feel, how we respond. Do you act, feel, and respond like Jesus? Well, in most cases, a lot of cases, people do, but many times they don't. It's just a simple way we feel sort of day. You know, some people say, until I have my coffee, don't mess with me, or that sort of thing, or, you know, somebody says, did you wake up grumpy? The other person said, no, I let them sleep. I mean, you know, it just depends on how you are how you are as a person. I want you to own purpose, own purpose for the next seven days, act as much as you believe that Jesus lived on this earth the way that he acted. Respond that way to sinners, to skeptics, to scoffers, to the saved, brothers and sisters in Christ, that you respond the right way. What about the spouse? To respond the right way. This is simply saying that I will give the Holy Spirit of God leadership in my life for the next seven days. Now, we ought to do it forever. We ought to do it every day. But let's start out at least thinking about seven. That's God's perfect number. Let's think about for the next seven days. Stop. Stop before you make a blunder. Stop before you give an opinion you don't need to give, think before you speak. Let God's wisdom rule in your heart and respond accordingly. Now, God will bless you for obedience. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. I mean, think about the sacrifice that pleased God, the sacrifice that was necessary to be this sin atonement, but Obedience is better than that, the Bible says. Why? Obedience is a choice. Listen to me, please. Sacrifice is an act. Obedience is a choice. Now, some people do an act. They perform a task. Well, that's, that's, that's something that's an obligation. But obedience is a choice. So I'm asking you for the next seven days to form your life after Jesus Christ. The way people respond to you, the way you respond to them. Uh, what happens to you? Well, how do you deal with that? Somebody cuts you off in traffic and you want to give them a, you know, a, a, a gesture? No good. No good. God knows the heart. So it doesn't matter in seven days what you tell me or what you tell someone else. Well, it does kind of, but matters most what God knows, and God knows your heart. So seven days, let's give God full attention. You say, well, uh, pastor, shouldn't we do it all the time? Well, absolutely. Uh, we can't get it all the time. We're just trying for a few days here. We need it all the time. You should do it all the time, but let's set a goal. Today, nothing is going to rattle me. Today, I'm not going to have hoof and mouth disease. I'm not going to stick my foot in my mouth. Today, I'm going to stay focused. Today, I'm going to do the will of God. No negativity, no negativity in my mind. If it comes in, I'm going to kick it out. Nothing I'm going to say, nothing I'm going to do. I'm going to stay right. I'm going to live holy. I'm going to be pure. You say, have you lost your mind? Well, a long time ago. But I want to ask you to consider no lying, no exaggerating, none of that. Let's do it right and see what God will do in your life. Well, you'll have to train yourself a little bit. If 
But I promise you that if you'll obey, it's better than sacrifice, and God will bless you for it. So next seven days, pure and holy, see what God will do for you. God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.